What's up guys, this is Butcher. I made an episode about early game items. I think like episode 2 or 3 or something. This is the episode on late game items. And this is going to be more broad and more... I mean, I'm just going to go over all the items and talk broad. about shit that I think is important. <clears throat> so just like in order. <clears throat> so after you get your boots, like... After you get your basic items like urn, magic stick, I mean magic wand... And like tower is under attack. boots and stuff, or maybe drums. You can go on to more serious Stay items, longer. I guess. Okay. Pipe of insight, uh, hooded defiance. That's always good. Uh, magic resistance. It's always good to almost any game. The only time I would go against hooded defiance is when an opponent has like a, a lot of physical damage. So like an Ursa, PA. Like, stuff like that. I mean, Hood is still going to be good. Like, it's, I mean, you do Rot, so it's always going to be good no matter what. But if they have, like, physical DPS, I would say go Ghost Scepter. I go Ghost Scepter on a lot of games because, I mean, people play a lot. Like, Void or something. If you put the Ghost Scepter in time, then he can't do anything to you. Like, Ghost Scepter is just really good. The only negative side is that you take more damage from Rot when you do uh, Ghost Scepter. So, or, like... Vlad's, eh, if your team really needs one, uh, I don't usually go Vlad's, but if your team needs one, you have a bunch of melees, then yeah, go Vlad's, like, it's not a bad item. Mech, unless you have arcane boots and a huge mana pool, like, you can go, you can go mech, like, I don't usually go mech, but it's all, oh, it, and what I want to mention is, uh, it's all preference. Uh, a lot of these items, like, there's a lot, a lot of choices that you could do when you play Pudge. Like, some people prefer Force Staff, some people prefer Hook. Four staff gives you more mana, and uh, it can't be cancelled, like you can always get away faster. But Blink Dagger gives you more mobility and instant mobility. So, I prefer Blink Dagger, but some people prefer four staff. Like Hexor, he prefers four staff still. He, I mean, buys Blink after four staff almost every single game that he does play now. So, it's just preference. Medallion, I don't see a reason why you would get it, uh, unless, like, your team needs a medallion. Ring of Aquila, not really. Uh, you already go like really early game items like Urn or Bracer or uh, Magic Wand. You don't really need that much more early game. Urn, uh, really good. Force Staff, I talked about it. Necro, sometimes you go Necro. Like if your team goes push, like you can go Necros, but it's really situational. Or it's like if they have a lot of Envies, just go Necro. Like why not? Dendi goes Yules a lot. And uh, I feel like Yules is a good item. Uh, any item that gives you movement speed is also like a really good. Like movement speed, I feel like is really really useful. Like you don't notice it, but over the game, like movement speed is super convenient. Like if you ever play Pudge, just, just try one of these builds. Like uh, Boots of Travel, Yules, Drums, or Mask of Madness, even, or like just just items with movement speed. They're like so convenient. Like if you like Pudge is really slow, but if your base movement speed is like 400. Or like 450 even, then you're like super fast and it's like super convenient. Like you could chase people, run away from people. Like it's just awesome to have a uh, movement speed on any hero. It's awesome. I I go movement speed build a lot because it's just like it's hilarious. Uh, day gun, not really unless you're like destroying your opponent. Fail discord. The uh, push doesn't really have that much AOE. Like his rot is the only AOE, so it's like fail discord is kind of a waste of money. I feel like rot of Atos is super good. Uh, gives you tankiness and gives you a shit ton of mana and the I mean the the range on the The thing is ridiculous like it's almost like what I want to say like a More than it's definitely more than a thousand units. It's basically maybe even the, I think it's like this far like 1500 units almost the uh, Rod of Eto is super good on punch like if you get it early game It's really OP. He's kind of like Skyrath like when you Rod of Eto someone if they're like below 400 movement speed base You're gonna hook them no matter what uh, Yules, uh, gives you movement speed, gives you, uh, mana, mana's always good, Pudge is low on mana, but don't, uh, Pudge, I mean, Yules, like, try getting it a couple of times, if you like it, then keep getting it, if you don't like it, then, like, don't get it, it doesn't give you any tankiness, like, uh, Pudge always needs mana, tank, and tankiness, uh, tankiness is HP and armor, and a lot of people forget to get armor on Pudge, like, they'll have, like, 5k HP, but their armor will still be, like, 5 or 8 or something, like, late game, and the, their HP will drop so fast, and getting, like, a Sulcurus would help a lot, but people don't get it, so, 
if you have a lot of HP, just make sure you have a bunch of armor to, to go with it. Aghanims is really good. If you're owning people, like, uh, a lot of games in the Pudge, uh, uh, when I play Pudge, that I hate, you go, like, 10 and 0 in 10 minutes, and then Pudge scales off because it's not a late-game hero, and, like, you have kills, but you don't have farm, so get an Aghanim Scepter, it will really help you out, like, Aghanim Scepter does a shit ton of damage, and uh, the cooldown the ultimate is very, very low, it's, like, what, 20 seconds? 30 seconds, yeah, but it's, it's still pretty low, and, um, you can heal yourself, like off neutral creep, so it's it's always gonna keep you full HP, which is really good, really convenient, and you're gonna have a lot of HP, and you're gonna lose a lot of HP from rotting. So if you don't have a lot of regen items, the Agonist is really good. Or Orchid, not really. Refresher, I got it a couple times. It's fun, but it's only like when you're trolling. Sheepstick, don't get it first. Get it like after a couple of main items. Don't get like, don't like get rush a sheepstick like 20 minutes in. I mean, you could do that probably. Maybe like blink dagger sheepstick if like the opponent has like a really uh, mm, cheap sticks just really, really expensive. Like you could, I feel like you could get more items, better items. Like I like the cheap items that are really, really, really good early game that you could do a lot with. Like blink dagger, force staff, uh, blade mill. I'll get to that later. Chrysalis, no armlet. I got it a couple of times. It's fun, but it's not really useful that much. Basher, unless you have four items and you're going carry pudge. I'm actually gonna talk about carry pudge like after I finish this. Shadow Blade. Shadow Blade is actually really good. If you're playing against Tinker, in like you already have a Blink, uh, Shadow Blade is really good. Like it's a really convenient way to sneak up on him, and it gives you a, a lot of damage, um, I mean, a lot of attack speed. Because Pudge already has a lot of damage, like base damage, like but his attack speed is really slow. The Shadow Blade is actually a really good item. I, I get it a lot because, I mean, it, it gives you a lot of attack speed and. Uh, it's really good offensively. Like people, Shadow Blade is almost always good because it's offensive, and I love being offensive. Battle Fury, no, just no, never. Uh, Ethereal Blade, um, yeah, it's good. Uh, I feel like Rod of Atos is superior to Ethereal Blade because it's cheaper and it does basically the same thing. Like you can hook people, but Ethereal Blade, like Ghost Scepter is really good. Ethereal Blade uh, situation, Radiance. Not in a series game. Not in a series game. Monkey King, bro. Daedalus, no. Butterfly is actually really good. If you're going against a lot of uh, physical DPS, like PA, Ursa that I mentioned, or Wraith King or something, and all of the opponent heroes are like late game and have just like no magical damage, get a Butterfly. It's actually really good. You can like fight them hand to hand, like uh, just, just stand up to them and fight them. It's pretty, pretty cool. Divine Rapier, I'm not even going to get to it. Uh, Abyssal Blade. No. <laughs> no. Uh, Blade Mail is one of the best items I feel like on Pudge. On almost any hero, like, the, people discover Fury on Blade Mail. Oh, it's so good. But it's actually like Blade Mail is good on any hero, literally. Like, it just forces the opponent, like, if they attack you, they take damage. So it, it, it's kind of like, if you have more than a thousand HP, Blade Mail is good on literally every single hero. Like, so it's just like, but on Pudge, it's extra good because he has a lot of HP. So, and people, like, when you rape as Pudge, like, early game, People tend to hate you, so they'll just like target you, like no matter what. Even if you have a 5k HP and the, your entire team is like 2k HP, they'll still target you first for no reason. I don't know why, and just pop a blade mail. Or if you're going up against like like if you're going against the TA, not many items can give you the ability to solo a TA like 20 minutes in. Like TA just rapes punch. But if you have a blade mail, you can solo a lot of heroes. Like like Wraith King, PA especially, like just pop Blade Mill and they have to get a BKB. If they don't have a BKB, they're fucked. Like it's just really good. But when they do get a BKB, you're kind of screwed. But Blade Mill is super cheap. Like I usually get like Blink Dagger, Blade Mill, like on almost every single game. It's it's really convenient. Vanguard. If you want to. I prefer Heart. If you're going to go Vanguard, just go Heart. Like Heart is actually one of the other items that's really good. Uh, Bloodstone, no. BKB, yes. BKB, you don't, um, if you're going up against a team, like, that goes, like, I mean, Lion or Lena or, like, a lot of stuns, and they're really squishy, just get a Blink Dagger BKB. It's super good initiation. You just Blink, B, uh, BKB, uh, eat somebody, and then just, just kill. You take, don't take ram damage from Rot when you're BKB. So BKB is actually really good, uh, depending on your opponent. Shivas, you can get it. If your team doesn't have a Shivas, get a Shivas. you like Shivas, then get it. It's not really bad, not really good. Too good. Mantis style, if opponent has a silence, Mantis style is actually pretty good. Like, it gives you a lot of movement speed. I like the movement speed part. 
Uh, Lincoln Sphere, situational. Assault Gears is super good with heart. If you go carry Pudge, like if your team doesn't have a carry, and you're like, okay, I need to do some physical DPS, and you're not, not ending the game early, go heart, Assault Gears. It's amazing. Like, you do so much damage. Like, just literally, just don't give a fuck. Heart is really good because it always keeps you full HP. Like, it's not really good. Like, the bonus, the strength, bonus HP is really good. But the regen, like the fountain regen, when you are outside of battle, like, you don't have to ever go to your fountain. So, if you have a heart and arcane boots, you're never going to have to go to the fountain. Uh, when I play Pudge, I like to be like a fountain so like you have a bottle you have an urn you have a magic wand so like you always keep like killing people and keep earning your own team like and then like give mana arcane boots so you just like literally just go and you just you you're so like rich and when you're rich you go with the team and you give constantly give your team mana constantly give your team hp and you just like it's really it's really convenient like that's just like heal people up and then you can win the game early game so like the people don't have to go back to base Helm of Dominator, no. Mask of Madness, sometimes. I like the movement speed. I really like the movement speed. Like, if you're snowballing, it's super cheap, too. Mask of Madness is super cheap. Uh, if you're snowballing like crazy, like, get a Mask of Madness. Like, I mean, get a couple of games. Like, all of these items that I'm saying, like, sometimes get, get all of them, and you, you're going to you're gonna find out which ones you prefer. Uh, Halbert is pretty good. Sanja, I mean, it's like a cheap butterfly, a strength hero's butterfly, so that's always good. And if you're going up against a Void... Just like put the, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, Halberd's good sometimes. Uh, Maelstrom. I've seen it a couple times. Not really that good, but you could get it. Diffuser Blade. If you're going against Omni Knight, get it. Get it, man. Somebody needs to get it on your team. You can get it. If you get it super early, you're gonna fuck Omni in the ass. Like fuck that hero. Like repel is so good against Budge, man. It's like don't take damage from Raw, don't take damage from Ultimate. Like Raw, it, repel is stupid, but Diffuser Blade counters that. Desolator, no. Sanjayasha sometimes it gives you a good combination of movement speed, tankiness, and uh, agility. So like it's pretty good. I just like the movement speed part. Majoner, I talked about it. Ice Scotty, no, never. It's too expensive. You don't get to do much with it. Like if you instead of getting Ice Scotty, you can get like. Blade Mill and Blink, and you're gonna be no, much better off. Drums sometimes time. get it. Satanic, no, never. Okay, this video I think is long enough, but you get no, the gist no, of it. So basically, I'm gonna go over the items that are actually really good sometimes on Pudge. Uh, Hood, uh, Midas. Midas, sometimes get Midas. If you're, instead of a Blink Dagger, if you wanna go Midas, then go Midas sometimes. Like, uh, seeing Dendi, the Midas is good for the uh, experience. You're gonna be really, like, high level. And Pudge is really good with high levels. Like, you're level 16, the opponent's level 10 or level 9, you're gonna win the game. Okay, so Force Staff, Blink Dagger, Drums, pretty good. Arcanes, Hood, Blade Mail, mm, Mask of Madness, Yules, Atos, Aghanims. Those are the. The best items. Everything else is situational. Uh, if you play Dota enough, then you're just gonna make your own item build. Like most of the time, the the opponent hero picks decide the items that you're gonna go. So yeah. All right. Good luck, guys.